I want to welcome you to the Prodigal Son Podcast. You know, I spent the biggest part of my life thinking God was just mad at me, just ticked, and found out in my mid-40s that that was a religious lie that nobody needed to ever believe. I thank God that for for the last five, six years that I have known and understood that that I can count on him like a trusted friend. That's the reason we do this podcast six days a week. I record five of these podcasts, and, and then I put my pastor's message on Sunday on this podcast for people to grow and be strengthened and and come to realize that God's a good God. He's not out to hurt anybody, but he wants to 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 see us come to him to love us and to care for us. Oh, I thank God for that. Now, I, I, I want you to understand something. This podcast is, is put out in a lot of different avenues and a lot of different ways. Uh, we, it's shared over all kinds of different platforms. But I want to ask you, I, I want to ask you to share these podcasts on your social media, if you if you uh, if you listen to this podcast, put it on your Facebook account, Instagram, whatever you whatever you whatever social media platform you use, share these. Help us get the word out that that the Lord's a good God, and He wants more than anything to be part of every person on this planet's life. He wants to love us and care for us and minister us minister to us through his word and and that's what that's what this podcast is all about to teach people and and help them to understand and to know that they can count on God's word as much as they can count on the word of a trusted friend more they can count on him more oh i thank god for that truth today share these podcasts on your social media I want to take just a minute and thank all the partners. Partners, thank you for all that you do sowing into this ministry, helping us put this put this podcast on on the internet six days a week, helping us do what God has commissioned us to do, to give his word away free of charge. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over every partner of this ministry. A hundredfold return on everything that you sow into this ministry. Now listen, I, I want to emphasize this. This podcast is free. It's been given to you free of charge. Now give it away. Encourage others to find out what God's Word says to them, for them, and about them. Now, my prayers come from Paul's prayers for the Ephesians. These prayers, I count these very important on this podcast because I want you and everybody in this world to know just how much God loves you. And these prayers are just verbatim of what, what we all need to know. Uh, but Ephesians 1.15 says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he called, his holy people, who are his rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also so in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3.14 says, When I think of all this, 
I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God that he's opened my eyes to that love, and I pray today that he opens yours. Oh, I thank God for his word. Let's see what God's word has to say today. Father, I thank you and I praise you, God, for your word. Touch my mind. Touch my mouth. Use me for your honor and your glory, and I'll forever give you all the praise and glory for it all. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. You know, we've been talking about God's covenant this this week, and and we talked about this scripture. We talk about this scripture quite a lot, the one I'm going to take uh, today, but... It's just a, it's just a, a good ending. It's a, an appropriate ending to this week to tell you what, uh, what this covenant entails as the blessing for you. Now, we, we went, we talked about the blessing, I think, two or three weeks ago a lot that wet week, but I want to go back and 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 take you back to Galatians three twenty nine because yesterday, you know, you are we said you are Christ and Christ is God. You belong to Christ when you become uh, when he becomes your Lord and Savior, when you when you are saved. And and I want you to understand that there's benefits to that. There's there's some, here's something that that you can can take to the bank and understand and know that God watches after his own. But uh Galatians 3:29 it says and if you be Christ then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Now I'm going to go back into Deuteronomy. If you've never if you've never heard me teach on this, I encourage you to go back and find these these blessing messages and read and and listen to them and and try to understand what what I'm getting at because there's a there's a many blessings to being uh in that covenant with God by accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior there's there's oh it's 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 an unreal what God will do for you if you will just give yourself to him and and that's what Galatians 3.29 is talking about. He said, if you be in Christ, then you are Abraham's seed. And you can count on what he what God has promised Abraham. You can count on it for yourself. And I promise you, there's millions of people in this world of Jewish descent that are blessed beyond imagination. And a lot of them don't even know where it comes from. <laughs> they don't realize that it's a blessing that God promised Abraham thousands of years ago. And you're, if you're born again, you can, you can claim and receive that same blessing. Everything you touch, being blessed. Now, can you imagine that? I can. I, I really can. I really can. I, I, I thank God for the blessing on my life. And, and when, I, when I see good things coming my way, I think, oh, thank you, Lord, for what you have done. Because I know where it's coming from. Yeah, you may say, well, yeah, I done this for you. Well, or, or uh, I, I sent you this or, or, you know, yeah, you did. But the fact of the matter is the Lord's the one that put it on your heart for you to do that. You understand what I'm saying? The Lord is who is guiding you to, to uh, sow into this ministry or sow into any other ministry that's doing what we're doing. Helping people get set free from religious bondage. And, and that blessing 
that blessing that God is is putting on people's hearts to uh, to sow into His kingdom. I promise you, it's not without reward. Luke six thirty eight says, "Give and it shall be given unto you." Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. I don't make my living. My living comes by my giving, and I know that without a shadow of a doubt. But I want, I want to talk to you about what, what the covenant, what blessing the covenant brings. Said, said we're heir to the promise. Heir, we're we're uh, Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Well, here's the promise. I'm going to start with the second, uh, the second verse. It says, All these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body. I want to back up here. This second verse. Now, the first verse talks about if, if we'll listen and if we'll do everything to the T. Well, you've got to understand that Jesus done that for you. That, that shed blood was innocent blood, and and he made the covenant for us to uh, to live in these blessings because he fulfilled the law that man couldn't fulfill. But this, this second verse says, All these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Well, what is that voice? That's that, that, that Holy Spirit that resides in God's children that speaks to their heart, not their head, but their heart. And if you'll listen to the Holy Spirit, He'll guide you into all truth, and He will guide you into places where you can be just abundantly blessed because that's what God wants for His people. It says, Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, and the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way, and flee before thee seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thy hand unto. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. The Lord shall establish thee a holy people unto himself, as he has sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways. And all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, in the fruit of thy body, in the fruit of thy cattle, in the fruit of thy ground, in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers to give thee. And the Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, and the heaven to give the rain unto thy land and, and his, in his season, and to bless the works of thine hand, to bless all the works of thy hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee head and the head, not the tail. And thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If thou shalt hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe them. He said, I'll bless everything you touch. Everything you put your hand on, I'll bless it. Why is that? Because Jesus Christ and his sacrifice and the covenant that he cut with the Father ensured us, ensured us to having the blessing that God promised Abraham. I, I want you to do something today. If you do anything today, well, two things. I want you to believe God's word above all opinion, regardless of what anybody says. But just get on the Internet and just poke around and 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 seek out just try to find out uh just try to find out how blessed Jewish people really are just look it up look it up i'm talking about just just google uh the jewish people's blessing or or uh how much are the jewish people really blessed just google it i hadn't done it I don't have no need to because I know, <laughs> I know how blessed they are. They're unreal, blessed beyond ma uh, imagination. I mean, uh, beyond imagination. And a lot of them don't know where it comes from. But I'm proclaiming to you today, 
where it comes from. I want you to understand that the covenant that Jesus Christ made for us, and we're in that covenant if we're born again, and if we're we're sitting in 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 with Him and we are His and He is ours, we are heirs according to the promise that God made, that God made for each and every one of us to have the the promise that He made to Abraham. And that thrills me to know that. Oh, it thrills me to know that that all my needs are met, just like Philippians 4.19 says. And, and I can count on my healing, my strength, my salvation. Why? Because his book says it. If God wrote it down as a testimony so, so we could know and understand where we stand with him. And religion has made it into something that's just, it's, it's horrible what, what religion has made God out to be and, and made this world to think that, that God's just some crazy old bipolar old man with a hammer in one hand and a lightning bolt in the other just waiting for everybody to screw up. No, no, that ain't him. He's that loving father in Luke 15 that wants more than anything for you to come to him and repent. That's all you got to do is repent, and he'll forgive you. He'll bless you. He'll restore you. He'll put you into a place that, that, that you thought was never, ever, you'd never, ever be able to get to that place in your life. But God will put you there. He'll sit you down in, 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 a, in, a, in the middle of your enemies and lay out a table of feast for you that you have no idea is even there. A feast for everybody to see just how much he loves you. I want to read that. I want to read that's in that's in Psalms 23. And that's you know, that's that's a that's a psalm that everybody needs to to keep in their heart and their lives and 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 understand that psalm because that psalm's for us. But Psalms, the 23rd Psalm, it's a short psalm, six verses. It says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. He said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. You pre- thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall fi- follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now I'm going to say something today. This is the 13th day of November, and it's 10 days after the election. This, this podcast is being recorded on, the, on election day. I want you to understand something. I want you to realize and to know something, that God is for you, not against you, and I don't care what's, what has went on in these next 10 days. He's for you. And, and yeah, you may be thinking the, the world has gone to hell in a handbasket, and I'm right in the middle of the basket. I'm go, I've got good news for you. You can stand on what God's Word says. He is your if he is your shepherd you shall not want. Don't look at your situation, but look at him. Look to him. Understand what he has said for you. He wants that for you. He wants you to know and understand what what he has written down for you to receive. Oh, it's it's it thrills me to be able to give you this. So you can understand that he's for you, always for you. He wants you to under, to know and 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 receive all these blessings that he has for you. Why? Because Jesus made a way for these blessings. Jesus cut a covenant with our heavenly Father that 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 ties us in to all these blessings and ties us into His protection. You can stand in that protection. Stand in it. 
Stand in the protection of God. Don't let the devil lie to you. Don't let the circumstance of this nation and this world lie to you and tell you any different. Glory to God. I, I thank God for the strength and the victory and the, and the overcoming power that God has given me through this word, and he's given it to you. Receive that power today. Now, you may, be, you may be listening to this podcast and you've never been born again. Romans 10 and 9 said, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, it says, Thou shalt be saved. It says, For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. That's all it takes to be saved. Be born again today. Allow Jesus Christ to come into your heart and into your life and, and change your life. Strengthen you. Help you. And, and then stand in what the truth in God's Word says about you, to you, and for you. Stand on it. Believe it. Receive everything that God has for you. I promise you. I promise you. You'll receive things in this world that you thought was never possible. How? Through Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Make, make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior today and watch him change your life forever. Hey, I am so glad that you tuned into this podcast. Go to our website and get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com. I want to hear from you. I want to hear what God is doing in your life. I want to hear what you need him to do in your life. Hey, if you've got a prayer request, send them in. Send them in. I, I love to hear from people that, is, that wants to stand on Scripture, to, to believe and understand that God is for them, not against them. And if they've got a need, he's going to meet that need. I want to I wanna help you with God's Word and, and, and agree with you according to God's Word. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. Partners, I thank you. Thank you so much for all that you do. So into this ministry. I, I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today, a hundredfold return on everything that you sow into God's kingdom. Go to our website. If you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do to sow into his kingdom. It's the-prodigalson.com.